what's up everybody once again it's brand man sean and this video is brought to you by brandmannetwork.com because i signed myself now this right here is my swag i'm just playing um this video right here is something for y'all to keep in mind right it's, it's, it's somewhat of a cautionary video but even more so people talk so much about masters right owning your masters and owning certain things but they fail to talk about some of those little things that you can lose control over and what that can actually look like and it starts right here with an example of me doing some work with an artist who you know he's pretty popping he has a good name for himself and everything and we were going to run a campaign right so we we're supposed to be doing some work had some success before and he was like yo man what should i do or, or can you do this specific thing for me right here um because i know we did this before and i was like yeah we could do that we could definitely do that but at the same time i think you should do this as well as a matter of fact i could talk about the this like i was like yo bro you should run youtube ads i thought it was a, a simple thing i was like all right so if you want me to do this this and this i could do those things but i also think for this video in particular like i you should let me do some youtube ads for you as well and he was like yeah but remember last time which i forgot about but he was like yeah like we can't necessarily do that like that the label has control of that so they can run those things. You can't get access to that account, whoop de whoop unless we go this superficial route. And that just wasn't going to be something that worked in this particular situation. And for me, I guess this is a simple thing. And I probably could have thought about this before. But at the time, it just hit me. I was just like, that's weird. Like the fact that you have your videos, right? And you can't run ads on your own video. Like you have to go through the label to run ads through your own video. So in a situation like this, when you're displeased with what they've done and now you have to double down into your own bag to try to figure out how else I can work this thing, you literally are still limited. Even if you say, you know what? I'm gonna put a hundred K of my own money up because they're not doing what I need them to do, which is something like somebody has, like French Montana did that for the biggest hit he's ever had, right? He put his own money up because the label was moving too slow. But in a situation like this, he had limitations on what he could still do because he could put money into it, right? And he could put a lot of money into it, but he could only market in certain ways. There was literally an entire marketing uh, route, a platform that he could not use simply because he would have to go through the labor for it. And that's a whole process. And then, you know, they were peppering with questions and that's just a whole nother thing. Right. And that conversation actually reminded me of an interview that I did that was that's actually up on this channel with an entertainment attorney by the name of Atira. And what she was talking about was situations where artists literally don't have control of their social media. Right. Not that I can only post certain things or some people also are allowed to post certain things on my social media, but literally not having control or maybe even access to your own social media. And there's so many small things in your contract, right? That could happen where you wouldn't even think it would make sense for you not to be able to control, right? Or you wouldn't even think someone would think to take that away from you. But there's all types of reasons, depending on the company, depending on the situation, et cetera, on why those things might be. So the whole reason and cautionary tale of this particular video really is just to remind people to pay attention to the details of your contract, right? The detailed details, not just the money and the whether you own your masters or not, you know, those distribution, those basic things that you always hear about, right? But also the smaller platforms and things that can get controlled that can still kind of you know um hold you it can cuff you when it comes to how you project your brand right it can limit you on your ability to control your own image and that's why for me one of the best things that i recommend for people is being able to maintain control of those types of platforms especially that front facing platform the direct to fan interaction and having your own team that's able to execute that. And if you have the right team, right, you can get the confidence from a, the label in a lot of situations to let your team run those things, right? So you'll be able to have more control of those things and the people won't be in conflict with maybe your interests because they will be, once again, on your own team. And they'll also be able to move a lot faster because there's just bureaucracy, red tape to deal with when you're dealing with some of these bigger companies. But that's just something to keep in mind, right? There's a lot of things that you might not think that other people could control or write into a contract, and that's relevant. So after you ask about that main stuff, 
make sure you ask whoever your lawyer is who's helping you with the contract or <laughs> it maybe if you're doing it yourself, not really advised, but make sure you look for that other information. What are these other implications that are there? And as always, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.